fucking hours, dogs. I think three, exactly, because my shit leaves at like 2 p.m., like 1.50. So I got to literally dip out of here. I got to dip out in at most three hours. I got to probably go in like two, though, nigga. So, I mean, I don't know why the fuck I decided that now is the perfect time for this shit. I should have done this last night, but we're going to be um, playing through some more of actual story in Xenoblade. We're not fucking around with no side quests. We're not doing any blade missions. It's straight up fucking chapter work at this point, man. And it has to be done because I don't want to go another fucking whole week in Boston and not know what the hell's good with the story. I, I'm tired of doing a lot of these quests. I really want to see some actual development and plot. So we are going to be starting this shit up right now, man. It's, uh, it's a little bit inconvenient because there was no heads up, of course. And I don't know how many people are going to see this. I don't even know if I'm going to make this stream public afterwards. But... I, I, did, I know there'll be at least someone who does highlights, right? But I wanted to have this recorded for myself. Not necessarily just to entertain, but obviously I'm very invested in this game. Um, the Xenoblade um, series plot is absolutely bananas if you've never played it before. So I can tell you 100% that this, this is the, that's the reason why I'm taking this real slow. I'm going for 100% with this game. Um... I'm pretty damn close, actually, to clearing up a lot of stuff, man. Like, pretty much all the blades now... Almost all their affinity is maxed out, perfect. I mean, I already got a couple of them done as is. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because, like, you know, time is not in my favor right now. Sponsors, thank y'all for coming through. Y'all going to be the only chat that I read. And I hope to God that y'all don't put spoilers in there. Although, like I said in my prior stream, I can sort of figure out for myself exactly where the plot's going. I know Amalthus is a bad guy. He has to be at this point. And I know that the architect has to be either Shulk or fucking Zanza. One of those two. I don't know. I, it has to be fucking... Because, I mean, it makes no sense. And plus, I have a feeling that that old man that we've been seeing in flashes randomly throughout the story, that's most likely the fucking architect, right? But even if it is Shulk, it doesn't explain where the fuck... How the how did things get here, Shulk? Monado boy! You were supposed to take care of the world! That nigga Alvis gave you the keys! And you think you're all bad and shit? You throw the damn key into the damn other Monados and you wind up blowing up everything and everything's now good? Well, why the fuck is the world like this, Shulk? Is he the architect? I don't know. I can't read the chat, though. I do not want to get spoiled, man. But I know it's got to be either Shulk or motherfucking Klaus, man. One of those two niggas is running this whole shit. But it makes more questions than answers when I think about that. Why? I'm tired of asking these questions. Does this relate to the fucking Zeno saga? I don't, I don't know. So we're about to find out right now. Why does Mithra's fucking crystal look like goddamn Zohar? I don't, I don't get it. Like, I'm, I'm making references to the um to some of the older games, but I mean, okay, 538 hours of my life lost on this shit, but I'm still going to go for 100. I just I'm scared because I don't know if there's quest that I I don't know if there's quest that I won't be able to do if I progress the story too far, which is why I was super paranoid. The only quest that I have left are these right here and there's no other ones in the overworld i've traveled and fast traveled to make sure that i captured every single one of them i think i can safely move the story forward and not miss out on something that's irreversible like these are the only ones around still uh okay i have a couple more than i thought i did the rest of them are blade quests and these can be done at any point in the game from at least i'm assuming you know what i mean so i mean hopefully these don't get messed up by me progressing the story too far. Um, I got a couple of them right here. I can save these shits for later. These are the ones that make me a little bit paranoid. Now, the one riddle on the wall, this one, the quest uh, goes into the world tree. So I'm not going to be able to do it until I progress the story. So that's okay. These over here, I think, are all good. Any other quests that are available at the time, I've already completed them. I literally have a whole fucking list of the shit. So I'm going to pray to God. I'm going to pray to fucking Allah in heaven that nothing's irreversible because that's how these fucking jrpgs are especially especially have you played final fantasy 7 i beat final fantasy 7 a little while ago but i remember a lot of stuff I, I even took down emerald weapon nigga but i mean bro i remember in final fantasy 7 how hard the game punished you for progressing too far and not doing quests in the fucking lead up bro you literally cannot go back at certain points and you just lose out so if you want to go for 100 and fucking 7 nigga your ass out don't move too fast you better take these games slow and steady and bite by bite nigga 
<sighs> I mean, obviously it doesn't mean much if you don't care about 100%, but for me, I really want to get the full experience through these. Bluns came through with fucking $50 in the stream. Thank you very much, Bluns. I see you out here, man. Welcome back to the streams. Last night was fucking crazy. Niggas were always, niggas were fucking sending me a bunch of crazy ass videos, bro. I'm like, I don't know, man. It, 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 was, it, it got funny, it got funny. I didn't get to send out the fucking code yet, though. Blun says, finish this game, bro. What the hell? I've been dying to see your reaction. Also, good morning, people. How are we doing? Good morning, my friend. I hope you had breakfast. Me, I had a fucking lox bagel with um, cream cheese and um, everything. Everything bagel. They, no, yeah, yeah. Every, a lox bagel. No. Everything bagel with lox cut. Freshly cut? I don't know, man. I'm going to take on that bite. Let's just go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. <laughs> okay. I got to in the bottom of that Well, no, I think it's good, man. But yo, Blunts, thanks very much, man. Are you ready? I'm not finishing the game, though. There's going to be a quest that I got to do. I got 100% this bitch. But I'm going to move it forward a little bit. Are you ready? I'm scared. I'm hesitant. But now is not the time to be a bitch, nigga. Too, there's too much to do. I'm on a time frame. We gotta make progress. So let's go back to the land of Morthra, which I still don't have an explanation for. This is apparently. Oh, no, no. We, we gotta go to the decaying titan. Here we go. Here we go. All right. The womb hollow. Is this it? Yo, thanks a lot, man. We have another fucking donation coming through. Who the fuck is this? This is Andrew Skull with $50. Thanks a lot, nice Andrew. Welcome back. Spell. On, he hun. says, nigga, why are you streaming this early? Bro, I'm, I'm only doing so because I'm not going to be able to fucking play the story when I'm in Boston. I don't have a way to mobile stream or whatever. So whatever's going down has to go down now. Let me just make sure my... I don't know. I'm just going to choose blades that I like a lot. <sighs> Sponsors, please. Please, anybody who's a mod in the sponsor chat, please remove any potential spoilers, guys. I'm going to trust y'all on this one. Although, I guess it doesn't really matter. But, I mean, okay. Nigga, I'm at the final boss, so I'm good. That's cool, man. For me... It's more about the story experience. I really want to have everything in this game like digested. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna rush. I'm not. I'm not rushing this at all. Sakurai himself said, "Take your time with this game." And I love it way too much to just fucking blow through the experience. I want it to mean something to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna. I'm gonna take my time still. But I'm gonna move the story forward today. Let me change up who the fuck I'm bringing on board. I'm gonna bring my motherfucking chick Harold with me. Oh, I also maxed out this nigga Wolfric's shit. I mean, his was kind of easy once you finish that damn affinity unlock at, like, level 3 or whatever. I'm going to put Harold in place of Korra because, you know, it's Harold, Harold is Harold, nigga. Where the fuck is Harold? Harold, nigga, where the fuck? Am I, am I tripping right now? Or was Harold on a quest? Oh, no, never mind. I will carry out my mission. Let's fucking go! We got the squad ready! Nigga, the squad is ready! All right, let me see here. Who else am I going to bring? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, um, let's do Cosmos. Ready for departure, master. All right, so we got light, electric, and then um, Dagas. Why not, nigga? Make got the favorites on board. The favorites are on board here. Andrew, thank you. Um, I he says, wait a minute, but it's nice that you're streaming because my class is almost over. Lol. Wait a second, almost over. But I'm guessing you're not living on the East Coast, right? And definitely not on the West Coast, because over there it's like fucking six a.m. Are you in the? Are you in Europe by any chance? In the UK, bro? Well. I'm glad to see that you're in a position to enjoy the stream. A lot of people aren't going to be awake that are the regulars around here because of the timing. Percival's definitely staying on the team, man. And my nigga Ajion. And we're going to throw in, uh, let's throw in another cool customer. Why not? Oh. Why are you on these Merc missions? Are, they, are you done? Are you? Are you done? Yeah, she's done. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to take her ass. Des, when's your flight? My flight, bro, is at... 2 if PM. anyone tries to harm you so i got to dip out of here by like 11 a.m to be able to get to the no no not even 11 maybe maybe 10 i want to get there early because here's the problem bro my fucking suitcase is stuffed to maximum capacity dog if i put a napkin in there on top of this my book bag and my suitcase are gone this bitch is busting and i have to go there extra because since i have so much stuff compacted into this man most likely tsa is gonna be like yeah that's a fucking bomb nigga go to the side and they're gonna have to pat my shit down probably gonna take like 30 minutes to do so because i have two fucking bags i should have just gotten a big ass suitcase but i always try to carry with just like you know the carry-on and you know the personal item and that's stupid of me because I know that I have to bring a lot of stuff to this fucking event, um, especially considering that I'm trying to do a little party. You know, I'm not nothing crazy like Twitch coming, but I'm trying to do a little something. And fitting all this into two little bags is like fucking hell on earth. Dude, I couldn't even pack that many underwear or underclothes in general, socks, shirts or whatever. I couldn't pack under stuff like that because there's no fucking room. I have to
have to literally go in Boston and buy my shit there. And then I guess try to ship it to me when I get back home. Well, who knows? Maybe even worse, throw it away. It's like I don't have any space. That's a stupid fucking mistake and one that I'm not going to make for the next time. I'm definitely getting a huge suitcase. I'm just going to say a prayer whenever it goes into check-in and hope to God that it winds up at my final destination. That's not something that you should be paranoid about to where you don't even use it, but it's like, uh, I, I, it's scary not having your stuff with you. I like having my stuff always next to me, so that's just my thought process on the whole thing. Um, I won't be here for too long. All right, Gold Mario, it's all good, man. Thank you for your blessings, Etika. Um, one stream at 11 a.m. and another at 9 p.m. Bro, you're just, you, you niggas, on, you niggas on, in Europe are just winning right now, I think. I think you're in Europe. I hope you're in Europe. All right, let's see here. Nothing else for theory. Okay, that's all we're going to do. Fuck you. Kane Mitsu. Kane, get the fuck out of here. All right, let me save the game again. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me, let me go back. Let me go back. Um, all right, so we have fire, light, electric. Um, I want to put ice in there, man. There, well, there we go. I won't disappoint. And now for our healer, we got Rex. Rex. He's got earth on him, right? Yes, earth, ice, and um, do we have wind? We have electric. We have water. We have fire. Do we have? Oh, okay, yeah, we have a dark too. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I hope to God we're good. No, we don't have wind, nigga. All right, Rex, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take Boreas with you, nigga. I mean, uh, Dahlia, sit down. Boreas, come through, nigga. Yep. Just. Or maybe Nia. You know what? Get Nia on board, bro. That's a good Showtime. healer right there. Nia, you're good. All right, and now I'm gonna just replace this nigga. Um, I'm gonna replace this nigga with. Finch, I guess, you know. Fuck it. Ajion, take a seat, bro. Choice, good, sir. All right, and I think we're good. We got all of our elements covered. It's time to make some progress, man. I'm going to fast travel. Actually, you know what? No, fuck it. I'm just going to walk it, bro. While I walk it, I can just talk about how I feel about this shit, man. Story is already getting crazy. The fact that there is an entire advanced civilization underneath the Cloud Sea. What does that mean exactly? Oh. Obviously, there was a civilization way in the ancient past, you know, far before the whole thing with titans and whatnot. I'm guessing that this world is one that might have existed in a past game. What's I don't know. Here? It's a guess. Nip out. Something fucked Nip up the world in the bottom. I know that Zohar shit was like one big ass threat back in the um, older Zeno games. So maybe it was that nigga that did all this shit. But, you know, I'm just making wild guesses at this point. I have no fucking idea. I mean, we'll see. You guys probably know, I mean, since you most likely watched the ending or whatnot. I, all I'm doing is giving my own speculation as to what the fuck it might be. Um, I gotta watch this shit in 140p. Uh, nah, it should be alright, man. Change the quality up. Don't let this be a bad experience. Um, boy, you live? Yes, indeed, my friend. I'm ready to get it in, man. I'm ready to get it in. Okay, hold on. Where the fuck am I going, though, nigga? Where the fuck am I going, though, nigga? Am I good? Oh, no, I gotta go higher. I could fast travel it, but you know, this is part of the tension, man. It's been so long since I've interacted with like the main story, so it's kind of like I got to get myself in the mode again. Remember all the key events have happened up until this Let's point. See. I'll snip them out. This snip is major for me. I'm not trying to make it seem like my experience is more validated than anyone else's because anyone can enjoy this game, but with playing Xenoblade 1 and beating it and knowing how all that shit ended as a pretense, I feel like it enhances the experience. So if you guys had a similar pattern where you didn't just play Xenoblade 2, you played 1 as well, maybe you understand where I'm coming from. This shit is fucking crazy. Damn, it's really about to go down. What is the world tree going to look like? Something tells me this shit is not going to look like a tree on the inside. There's no way this shit's going to look like a tree, dogs. This fucking music is fucking me up, bro. I sniff him out. <laughs> My nigga Finch, bro. Nigga has a fucking, he has a smell fetish, bro. She, she, Finch is a girl. I was surprised by that when I found out. There's no fucking way in hell that what we're about to walk into is going to look normal by any means, dogs. That's why I got Cosmos with us. We're breaking these universe barriers right here. What the fuck is this place? Yo. Yo. What does this mean, bro? What kind of chamber is this? There's there's symbols on the wall. Is this where like the architect made Titans or something? I don't know. I, I, I'm 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 just trying to. What the fuck, nigga? What is this? Where are we at? Where are we at? The womb center. 
we're inside of the titan who's decaying right but do titans all have like mechanical parts inside of them or something i don't know what, what, what am i what am i even looking at here what the fuck oh shit okay oh okay never mind we're the oh god all right let me let me get that item real quick bro what is happening here what is that's the world tree nigga it has a mechanical look to it. I kind of knew it would, though, you know? Like, there's no way that was going to be a tree. Oh, never mind. I've been here before. You know, it's been a long time, you know? So this is all stuff that I'm kind of refreshing my memory in. There's some weird shit, though, dogs. Already, I'm feeling kind of suspect about all this. There it is right there, bro. Fuck. Let's fucking go, man. I'm ready. I'm ready, dogs. It's time to push the story forward and hope to God that I didn't miss out on 100% in this bitch. I might have already missed out on it as is, man, because, you know, I didn't really use Van Damme back then. What if there were, like, missions and stuff to do with him? He's the only other driver that I think is in the game, so that might just be my ass right there. But, you know, it's not even for the idea of doing 100% for, like, the title or just, like, you know, for dick bragging or swinging rights. I'm doing it more just for my experience because I really do love this game. There's things I hate about it, but... This experience altogether, dogs, the characters and the work that went into this thing. Like the fucking voice work and the and the details, the story, and every every individual blade having such a huge amount of like character development put into them. It's almost fucking criminal that people can play through this game super fast and not unlock any of the extra blades and just, you know, fucking finish it quickly and be like, oh yeah, I beat the game. There's so much more to it than just what's on the surface, bro. This game is extensive as fuck. Probably one of the most extensive games I've ever played in my fucking life. This is the exact experience that I wanted on the Switch, man. Like an RPG that I can just when did drown get in. So light? And man, I'm living. Here we go, bro. The fucking world tree. I am living and breathing the experience right now. Edgar, do you have? Co I have all of the rare blades. Cosmos is one of the best ones. I mean, it's not like fluff just because she's like a special one or whatever. Here we fucking go. Here we fucking go! What's going to happen? What the fuck is going to happen, bro? Holy shit. What is going to happen? I'm scared, man. I'm fucking scared, nigga. I'm scared, nigga. This thing is taking too long to load. Oh my fuck. More ordain? Your Majesty, yesterday we sealed Section 47. Okay. I see. This is even faster than the survey's estimate. Don't tell me this nigga Nile winds up dying anyways. Furthermore, we've detected surges of geothermal energy in the royal precincts. So we can't hold out for long. Even here. The ether flow is the lifeblood of the Titan. The temperature Damn. is increasing with its Mo age. More Ardane's about to die, nigga? Perhaps we should hasten moving the capital to... Is Rome. More Ardane going to die? We've only just recalled the consul. And with no good explanation to the Gormati. Holy shit. We don't want to sow discord for no benefit. But Niall, your people are going to die if they stay it's on this Titan any longer. Time is running short. This nigga's about to die. Indeed. But not only for us. Wow. Gormot is fertile for now. But the harvests have been declining for years. Really? It's like a cry issuing up from the center of the world. What's happening here? That's the Titan's head right there. Your Majesty. What's going what on here, man? What's going Nothing. on? You think you can take me? Just my imagination. My sister. Where are you now? What is going to happen, bro? The dude literally said, bro, our fucking Titan is about to kick the bucket. We have to move now. And Niall, Neil, I can't remember exactly how you pronounce his name, but he's trying to take it easy. It's hard for good men to be king, bro. Here we go. The fucking tree. The Great Void, it's almost completely gone. Fuck. After all, the Great Void was Ophion's doing. Oh, and Ophion's yes, done now. Indeed. Rest in peace, Ophion. So Damn. with Ophion gone, the Great Void could not support itself. Whoa. If only we were above the surface, we could easily cross. But we gotta climb that bitch I mean, now. It doesn't look impossible to climb, but it's nastier than any mountain, that's for sure. Shit. Everyone. Here. Pyra. Okay, there, it looks like some advanced technologies inside of this tree. 
What the fuck? The insides of the world tree. I'd never a thought. Our robotic. Seems to be an artificial tower enveloped by gargantuan. A fucking tower? It's not a tree? Whoa! Oh shit! It's the third ages, nigga. She just came out of nowhere. What the fuck? It's not a fucking tree. It's a tower. Already, already, nigga. It Boom. Seems like we could use this to travel up. Oh, Pyra, what did you do? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. The fuck, like my Pyra? Body is remembering something all by itself. It must be another power granted to the Master Blade by Father. So, holy shit! Why? Why hurry though? Yeah, this because Jin and them. wired into my brain, so Malos must have the same thing. Not good. If she doesn't remember it. Seems this is some kind of elevator. Maybe it's like a past life. That's some fancy glazing. Ooh, you never were good with heights. Shut your eyes. This dude, now's not the time Let's to go. be a bitch, Zeke. Get your ass in check, nigga. It's about to get real. We're at the Mega Float base. Already, dog, a fucking revelation. What was known as the World Tree is actually none of the sort. It's a fucking robotic tower, nigga. This is a mechanical fucking creation right here. Jesus. Where are we, nigga? This is it? We're at the bottom of the World Tree. Here we go. Okay. Oh, no. We're still in Morthra or whatever. Elevator down? Oh, elevator. Oh, okay. Where the fuck are we? What are we about to see, bro? Oh, my. I can't take it with Xenoblade, man. Fucking Jin? Oh, they're recovering him? This nigga looks like he's inside of the chamber that they used from Dragon Ball back in the Frieza saga. That's right, kids. Mondo cool. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. He's back on the ship, right? Chilling with motherfucking Malos and my nigga Akos. You can die when we're done. Damn. <laughs> this far. I don't plan on giving up. He said, nigga, no time to be a Damn. bitch. If Judicium hadn't gone down. Judicium? That's the We might have got you some better treatment. They were like the advanced uh, ancient civilization that got taken down that were on Temperantia, right? Woven into the body of a blade. They awaken strange abilities. Whoa. That's good enough for me. What the fuck? This will do fine. Give me a second with that donation, man. Even Hold on, I'm just gonna wait till the audio stops, bro, because right now I can't. Um, okay, Mr. Bombastic, this is the guy's name. I can see it if I really look close. He says, hey, Erica, first time donator here, and good day from Australia. Yo, indeed, likewise, man. I hope you and your Joey are doing good, man. You know, <laughs> I've had people, I've fucked with people before from Australia, being like, send me a fucking kangaroo steak or something. I'm glad you're finally playing this part of the game. This is where shit picks up big time. Keep it up with the great videos. Yo, Bombastic, thanks a lot, man. First time donator, I feel like I've seen a name like this one before, but... I am ready to get into the gameplay, man. $50 is a lot of money, so the contribution, I know it's coming from the heart. Thank you, man. Um, although, it wouldn't matter what the amount is. Anything coming from the, you know, wallet is definitely coming from the heart. Thanks. Appreciate that, man. We're going to get right back into no, it. No, she'd though. hate you for it, right? Huh? Is that is this the driver that he was? Laura wouldn't have wanted this. Damn. Even so, I've got to keep my promise. That shorty that got murked, right? <laughs> All right. I'm with you all the way. Milos, can you please explain why you had a Monado, my boy? Bob Asset, hey, once again, thanks, bro. Jin, you better not get sentimental. No bitch niggas, Jin. I found the ruins of Torna down in Moratha. Oh. Moratha, okay, that's how you say it. There were half rotted blades there, couldn't grow into titans. They must have lived on for a while down there. Suffering. A bro. man once said, Live together with the humans. A man. I really? think I know the man you're talking about. We were just living for the humans. God damn. That was what the architect ordained for us. And look what we became. Blades kind of get the rough end. You're still sure about what you want, right? 
That to thing. kill the architect? Is that That's his ultimate a goal? Reminder. To remind me what a fool I was to ever have faith in the architect. Who is? I get where Jin's coming from, though. With the with the way that blades always lose their memories, it's it's, it's honestly like a torturous existence. It makes me feel really bad because his point of view, it's comparable, but his methods are horrible. And this is this is like a common thing with these bad guys. These motherfuckers just they they think that they can be justified in murdering people just because they were like treated badly before. And it's a messed up point of view because all it does is create more bloodshed and more grudges. All right, so inside of the tree, this bitch ain't no tree. It's looking advanced as fuck. This looks like something that's out of like Xenoblade Chronicles X or something. Here we fucking go. They were lying to us the whole time, bro. The whole damn time. Tree my ass. It's covered by trees, but it ain't no tree. Music sounding crazy, bro. Cosmos, you remember? You, you you recognize any of this bullshit? Where we going, baby? We going over here? Who knows? Maybe this is familiar to you. Since I'm so fucking overpowered, I don't have to worry about fighting any monsters. But maybe the music would be different. But no, I can't spend time doing all the side stuff. I've already gotten here. I need to keep moving and What's get to the here? next fucking story objective right away, dogs. There's no time to play games here. Looks like I won't even have to use the Eye of Shining Justice. Let's see if the music's any Let's different. Let's keep our heads in the game. Well, let me uh, make sure I kind of adjust the volume a little bit. Let's see what the music's like. Haywire Chainsaw! Oh, same shit. Blow same shit. Back, same shit. Okay, let's just do this real quick. Yeah. Okay. Get him, Kazi. Yep. Get him, Kazi. Okay, here we go. I'm just, I just wanted to see. Oh, this thing is done. Okay, there we go. We're good. Okay, let's keep moving. Fuck it, bring Harold up. It's still disturbing to know that Harold has bodies at the end of her fucking tail things. Oh, wait, no, we're going backwards. Whoops, my bad. All right. The music, though. Shit. Yeah, man, is going to breeze through this. It's not necessarily about the battles, man. It's more about the story. God damn. What kind of music is this? The lower deck. Nia, what the fuck? What? What? <laughs> what the fuck is this? A heart to heart? Fuck it, let's do it. I don't know what I was expecting in here, but this jolly well isn't it. Yeah, me neither, dude. surprise, too. Insides of World Tree make Tora's head go all swirly whirly. This shit makes no when sense. When it's even getting to Tora, you know it's serious business. No need for surprise. Masterpon lacking in many regards. Okay, Poppy Cutie Pie is still a fucking savage. In particular, common sense level close to zero percent. Jesus, Poppy, I thought she was more nice to him in this form. Uh, Poppy, it go without saying, but Blade should not diss Masterpon. God damn. Get very impudent since activating Cutie Pie. Man. Cause she's she's on her next level shit. Poppy's looking like the main character right now, dogs. She's justified in saying all that bullshit. She is. Difficult girl. Yeah, difficult indeed, bro. Difficult? Didn't you make her, though? Yes, in manner of speaking, but Poppy is result of work of three generations. Yeah, so Grampy Pond was probably Actually, the nigga that... there are plenty in Poppy that Tora not know or understand. Whoa, Poppy's really? Poppy's contain elements from Professor Susu and Professor Tadazo in addition to Master Pon. My nigga Susu Poppy gave her... hopes and dreams of all three. Damn. Anyone might be stronger at any given time. You're obviously a lot more complex than I give you credit for, Popster. Is it because 
there's three different modes of Poppy, so like all three of Tora's um, dad and grandfather worked on. I, I don't know. Maybe that's kind of like a so, hey, shit Tora, theory. Does that mean even you don't know everything she's capable of? No, that right. definitely, a hundred percent. It seems like her art, her artificial intelligence is better this than is a nigga. change function was laid down by Grampy Ponsusu. So part of System Core is sealed mystery or black box. And Susu's just he's gone, so you can't even like open it up. Are you also in the dark Are you here, Poppy? So in the dark here, Poppy? In the dark about functions? Right. Sure, you've not got any hidden abilities kicking about in there. Let me see. Oh God. Function identified. What the fuck is about to happen? Excellent. Let's see it then. What's going on? Grandpa Pon Susu, what the fuck were you doing? What the hell did you have planned for her? Whoa! Dog mode? This nigga is a freak! Poppy! That mode is only for park! Only for the Tora park! Sealed dog mode so people not put Tora some kind of weirdo. Oh shit, this is some I bet in the Japanese version, this was actually some next level shit. She's barking and shit, probably ask oh yeah, lick that up. Oh yeah, that's why I used that What the fuck? Poppy! Tora! Susu! These niggas are fucking perverts! Yeah. That is more than a little bit weird. These niggas got some next level fetishes going on here, bro. They put out all their desires into the damn into the damn fucking artificial blades, nigga. Come on, Tora. Why don't you just get a real dog? Do real dogs even Tora exist? Not have time for real dogs. Not have time. Yeah, sure thing. I don't think a real dog has that kind of a figure either, nigga. Anyhow, Poppy, surely that's not the only ability you've got. You don't have any hidden function we could use for battle or exploring, something like that. Even without Tora, you must be able to do a bit of digging around in that black box of yours, no? Negative. Damn, really? Negative? You can't do shit? Well, maybe later on we'll be able to see. It's kind of a guess. I don't really know, but I mean... Hey, we got a Poppy ability. Overclock level 5. Damn, she got two of them just now. Alright, well, that's cool. Let's open you up. Combat support function primed. Damn, there we go. Now, what the fuck does it say here? Master Pond is lacking in common sense. That is so fucking savage. Perfect comedy. I don't even know what the fuck that one was. Wait a minute, what does it say? Defeat Hardwire Radcliffe in the World Tree. Defeat a Blade Bot at the World Tree. Use Poppy Ignition. Okay, so I, we can pretty much finish hers now. We're not going to waste time with that, though. Um, as a matter of fact, might as well just throw Poppy in the mix. Why not? Alright, and now um, I, I'm probably going to have to switch my elements around real quick. Because Poppy, I got light, dark, and ice. So, light, dark, ice. Um, I guess that's okay. I can work with that. Light, dark, ice. Uh, we have... Oh, no, I don't really have wind and shit. Bruh, I got to change my shit around now. Oh, I can just do it real quick. I need wind. Um, Cosmos, you're going to have to take a seat here, baby girl. Zenobia, so come bored. through. I was about to go out hunting solo. And, um, Earth, we need electric. Do we have electric? Yes, we have Herald. Water, we have fire. And, um, ice, we have wind. There we go. Boom, let's go. Should we come back later? No, 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 don't worry. I'm not going to take too much time doing random shit on the side, man. Look at these fucking robots, bro. Are these, like, automated defense systems? They're just walking around this bitch. That's kind of hot. <laughs> just a pair of a pair of fucking sexy legs just walking around, nigga. Like, god damn. <laughs> what the hell is the architect into? Monado boy, is this where things have gone? Shulk, what the fuck's the story here, bro? I'm derived. I'm just guessing it's Shulk. It, it might be fucking, um... It might be the nigga Zanza, too. I don't know. It might be. Oh, they're both the same person, technically, but I mean... What the fuck kind of a monster is that? A sentry. A docile sentry. I'm not sure how the fuck this thing attacks you. What's but we don't here? have to worry about that. Nigga, we're getting straight Sniff to the motherfucking him. chase. Sniff him good. Thank you, YouTube gods. How many hours you put into this, Edgar? About 500. Uh, more stuff over here. Um, I guess I should check that out later on. 
But niggas ain't got time for that, bro. We're just gonna keep moving. Harold's big ass. God damn. Is there something here, maybe? Nah, don't have time. Let's just keep going, man. You know, like I said, guys, I got this flight that I have to get ready to leave for maybe at like 10.30. So we got roughly an hour. What the fuck is that thing? It's a fucking motorcycle? Excuse me? Hold on. You bring that ass here. That's a fucking motorcycle. What the fuck? It's a fucking motorcycle, nigga. What the fuck? Hugging the glory, hey? All right, I gotta fuck that up. I guess I gotta wait for it to come back around, dogs. What kind of shit is this? Was it gonna drive back up here? This, I, uh, well, we don't have time, but. No, they're all here. They're all, like, parked. How the fuck do these things fight you? There's a boss! Oh, shit! The MK. Uh, what is that, 6? The MK6 Familton? Excuse me? I don't have time for this, man. It that, that That's some bizarre shit. But I'll have to check it out later, man. A self-driving motorcycle. Bro, it's crazy to see the technology advancements. Uber really moved it forward. I'm glad to see that in the future, they push past that woman that they killed recently. Self-driving cars are the way. And this shit is the fucking... This, this is the vision into the future, nigga. Uber's on a whole nother level with this shit. Damn, Elon Musk. I see you out here, my nigga. Keep it up. Another heart-to-heart. -heart. Say Rex. Do you truly believe that Elysium exists? Well, we're here, right? Do you even have to ask? Don't you, Morag? I don't understand why you'd even be here then. Exactly. No, that's not what I mean. I just wanted to clarify how everyone truly feels. After all, don't most people only know of Elysium from fairy tales? True. Well, I guess so, but... Our chum here has seen the real deal in his dreams or whatever, right? <laughs> Zeke is putting this nigga on blast, man. He's like, yeah, this nigga had hallucinations. Listen, Rex has been on them DMT trips a couple too many times. Wide green fields in a warm breeze and a beautiful city like nothing I've ever seen. Where would a beautiful field of grass and a, a city be here? This is a huge tower of technology, not a fucking oasis. Is that like at the top maybe? Would there be enough room for everyone to live there? I'm starting to feel like Ira was standing on top of a hill overlooking it all. Where would that exist here in this tower? Something tells me everything leading up until now is about to get shattered into a million pieces. This reality is not sure coming together like we thought Elysium. it would. There's no place like it in all rest. Is Morthra Elysium? The place you saw in your dream. Is it prudent to believe in Elysium based on that information alone, I wonder? I mean, Morag is always the one thinking trust me in analytical, so it's like, yeah, she's gonna grill him on it. She's gonna, she's curious, like, dude, it's just an observation. Yeah, I trust you both. From what I'm seeing, I don't know how the fucking Elysium can exist in this. But just because a place exists in your dreams exactly. does not necessarily mean it exists in reality. That's some real shit for you, Rex. We can't Wait, all be can just- you honestly say you have never doubted Elysium's existence in the slightest? Definitely have, well, man. I guess I have wondered from time to time. At the end of the day, the only way to be truly sure is to go there, right? Zeke brings up another great option. Rather than just sitting there being doubtful, it's time to just pull up our bootstraps and see what the fuck's going on, man. There's no other option but to just go. So yeah, good point. True enough. As for now, Rex believes it's real and that's Yo, enough BB. for me. BB115, thank you very much, man. $50 in a donation. I appreciate that, bro. He says, Hey, Etika, man, this is my first time donating. I got paid today, so have some money. Joy Con Boys. Indeed, my dude. Thank you. Generosity definitely helps out a lot. And this, this is truly your first time donating. One, I'm kind of pissed off because you're ruining the Xenoblade experience for yourself, my nigga. Like, $50, you can basically buy the game, dogs. Don't, don't, don't do it, guys. Like, once again, if you're, if you don't give a fuck, then all right. But now is not the time to be coming through for the first time and, you know, showing love when you don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about here. Do you understand anything that's going on right now? Oh, I want y'all to understand. But thank you, though, BB. I mean, sure, it's best for everyone if it does exist. But even if it doesn't, does that really change anything? 
our chums on a mission to help Pyra reach her dream. And hoping that it helps out the world. Will Rex truly be able to do so if Elysium doesn't exist? No, everything's dying, nigga. Whatever the outcome, I want to see that through to the end. The mission. So what if there's no proof? Chasing after dreams is what real men are born to do. Yo, baby, once again, everybody who donated, once again, thank you guys so much, man. $50 is a lot of fucking money to throw around. And the fact that you guys are able to do so and you're happy watching the stream, it really is touching to me. And I'm glad that I'm a content creator who is able to make you sit down and have a, have a laugh or two, whatever. You know, I mean, it's crazy. Think about it. $50 every single time people are donating that without question. It's crazy. Every single time that I think about it, I'm not here to focus on the money, but it's just like, God damn, that's $50, nigga. Shit. Love. That's real love right there, man. Thank you. Thank you. That's support. He wants to see this channel go on, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Very well. I appreciate your passion. Though I'm not quite sure I understand your notion of a real man. Real man? Listen, Morag, I can show you a real man. You'll figure it out eventually! You'll figure it out eventually! This nigga Zeke is about to put moves on Lady Morag, bro. I mean, you're basically the manliest one here. Oh, never mind. Zeke, there are some things in this world you don't joke about. Morag's like, I don't care how badly I can bust a nigga's ass. I'm still a lady at heart, okay? Don't go around calling me. I ain't no man, all right? I'm a woman. That's Lady, that's lady Morag, Zeke. Don't get it twisted, bro. Deep in the heart of that profound decorated soldier lies the heart of a woman and my friend that is something tender warm soft delicate <sighs> even my temper has its limits oh shit <laughs> with a whole lot of heat to it too nigga <laughs> I need to teach you a lesson you won't ever forget okay uh morag you're scaring me a little never mind nigga hold never it mind. hold it i was just joking around yeah yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe i said a little too much myself <laughs> God damn, Morag! Nobody needs to die here, okay? Yo, Morag! Yo, Morag's a fucking dom! She's a dom! Bro, Morag, can you step on me, please? Lady Morag! Oh, shit! She's getting off! She's laughing and shit! She likes this shit! She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to dominate this nigga. Oh, my God. She's into that BDSM nigga. God damn. Morag look like one of those kinds of girls that hold you after school and lock you up in the room and put a hand on you on the wall and be like, boom! So what were you saying earlier? And it was like, uh, not, nothing, you know, no, 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 you, I, I wasn't saying anything. She said, and she's like, didn't you say that you could beat me at whatever sport? Like, I don't know. Like, like, like he's just like, uh, I did, but you know, I didn't mean in a serious way. And then bam, she grabs him and she's just like, I'm going to prove to your ass that I can beat you at any kind of challenge. You if it's some, if it's some next level shit, I can see it in my head. I can see it in my head. This is crazy. <sighs> Lady Morag, man. <laughs> Yo, dog, I love Morag, man. <sighs> bro. There's some BDSM shit, bro. There's some... Yo, that's that femdom shit right there. I like me a little bit of femdom. I mean, I don't, I, I don't like dildos going up my ass or whatever. Like, I'm not into femdom on that kind of a level. I mean, if you are, no offense to you, by the way. You know, I'm just saying, me personally... That's not the kind of femdom I'm into, but I'm into that. I'm into that femdom, you know, tying you up and motherfucking talking shit to you and and, and riding instead of like she's she's doing the work and sh <laughs> getting dominated a bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I like getting stepped on. Oh bro, listen man, I can get off to that. <laughs> that that's my shit right there. I like a woman that can take charge, man. I mean, of course, as a man, you know, I I be taking charge all the time. But you know, I like me a woman that can come in and mm, you know I'm. I'm a, I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm being real. I got, I gotta be real. I'm not gonna tell y'all niggas a lie. It, it's, maybe it's a truth that y'all niggas don't like to hear. But yo, bro, this is, uh, that's, that's hot to me, bro. I'm, I'm into that shit, bro. I like that femdom shit, bro. Don't look at my search history, bro. All right, let's see here. Places looking at the nuclear dump facility. More questions than answers right now. I mean, since I've had time to think about why there's an advanced civilization underneath the Cloud Sea, maybe the surprise is kind of like, you know, a little wavering. I bet if I was doing all this when I first came down to Morthra, then I would have been, like, kind of blown back. But wait a second, what is this? What is this? Is this like a person inside of that thing? It's like a little robot defense system. It looks like there's a person inside of it, but it has like a halo. What the fuck? 
This is really starting to look like some Zeno Saga, Zeno Gears type shit out here, man. I don't know. Is this where we gotta go, guys? The control room. Control panel. Alright, so we gotta go back. Of course he looks at its ass. Bro, listen, I'm trying to do an inspection of all this technology to make sure that there's no potential chance that I can be damaged by it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just surveying. I'm, I'm, be, I'm being observational with my surroundings, all right, dude? You gotta make sure. Does it, does it have an ass, you know? You don't want to have that thing back up on you. It looks a little bit pointy. It might wind up penetrating you instead. All right, so let's go. I think we have to go down. What's going on, guys, in the chat? I see y'all niggas. You know, I'm in class, nigga. What are your thoughts on booger niggas? What the hell is a booger nigga? Is that like a new fucking trend or something? I don't let's know. see. Uh, let me see. I'm opening up treasure and shit. This is not the time for it. Do I have enough ancient wisdom for this? No, I don't. Okay, whatever. I'll come back for this. In here? Ooh. Oh. I know that the game has a lot of um, DLC and shit planned. The little menu thing updated and they show like the silhouette of these upcoming blades and shit. They, they look fucking badass. I mean, even though you don't really see, you, you just see the white, like a, like a light of them, but they look, they look badass. Also, um, they say that there's going to be another story add-on, which there are no details on, obviously. Even if there were details, I don't think they would tell us, just for the sake of spoilers. They would just be like, oh, play the new part of the story, and bam, that would be it. I wonder what it's going to be, though. Is it going to be like a continuation of this one? Or, I don't know, at the end of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, is it even possible to make a continuation of it? Because I know at the end of Xenoblade Chronicles 1, I mean, <laughs> oh, I mean, continuing that story. I mean, you could, Let's technically, see. but I mean, maybe it would be like a different perspective of the story instead. Where are we at right now? Still in the middle of all this technology and shit. Is this like a boss battle right here? Rex Rex look worried. Maybe Rex Rex lost wallet? I think it's his suit's defense systems oh, will protect his I wallet. See. Well, maybe your worry is your wallet's empty. Damn, well, Tor said you a broke nigga. I don't work much these days. Hey, why are you so interested in my finances all of a sudden? Yeah, what let that boy, let the boy rock out. Let him south. Hmm. A Malthus. Here we go. Malthus. This might be if where he Jim realizes. What said is true. The Praetor doesn't just hate blades. But humans, too. Whoa. I mean, he basically hates the whole world, seems like. How so? In old Torna, humans lived together with blades that eventually became titans. So destroying Torna was the same as destroying the titans. And he, it was rumored that it was Mithra Amalthus that did that. Must but Amalthus have known did it. The titans have been dying off over the last few centuries. Cannot live without titans. Everybody go bye-bye. Maybe the Praetorium saw it as an obstacle to their power. Why not just move everyone down to Morthra? I mean, it's in ruins, but it's technically inhabitable. If these guys are able to be down here, then why can't everyone? Unless there's like a... Wait, no, there's monsters everywhere. They would kill the whole population. My bad. I forgot. If the blades were becoming titans and creating new land, people might have more faith in the blades. If a new faith emerged, it would threaten the Praetorium and its dogma. I understand that much. That's just war and politics. But this nigga Praetor seems like he's on some evil hating shit. People, hating yourself. Where does it end? I gotta do an audio check. I'm a little bit conscious of my volume right now. Give me a second. Where does it end? It would threat faith. It's technically politics. Um, hating evil shit. people, hating yourself. Where? Um, okay, I think we're good. This nigga Praetor seems like he's on some evil shit. People, 
Yeah, I think we're good. I, you know, like I said, I like it a little bit. Uh, there we go. Boom. All right, we're good. Let's go. What do you do when you hate the whole world? You mean? It sounds like it. a Malthus. That's all that's left. A Malthus and Jin are on the same wave. Tell me I'm wrong. We have another donation. I'm gonna pause it until the sound stops on this one. We have what's this dude's name? I can't see it from here. Um, this is another fifty dollar contribution coming in from Bitter Fuck. Yo, welcome back, man. He says, "Nigga, you are up early. Goddamn, yeah, I know, dude. I had to make sure that I do this before, you know, I, I leave on this flight, man. It has to go down because I don't want to be in Boston and be like, damn, I gotta go another fucking night. And I want this to be on camera. I really do. I don't want to beat this off camera. I would like as much as possible to be on, but I can't spend too much time reading donations today, guys. If you could slow, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's, it's just one. I'll read through it really quick, man." He says, anyways, peek the artwork that I made for you, nigga. It took seven rough days, but I pulled through to make this shit look succulent. And, okay, you know what? It's artwork. I can take a look at that real quick. Let's see what this is, man. Oh, honey, wait a second. You you made this? You made this, bro? You sure you made this, bro? I don't know, man. I mean, it, I've seen this artwork. I, I like this artwork 100%. Oh, I guess you did make it. I mean, fuck. I don't know. I never know. I mean, it's good, though. I'll tell you that much, nigga. Like, fuck. If you did make it, then shit. Damn. Bro, you gonna have to draw. He said, <laughs> he said, I pulled through seven days to make this shit look succulent. That Yeah, that shit is fucking succulent, nigga. Are you sure you made this, though, bro? Because I'm seeing a fucking tag on it. The tag right here. I mean, is that the Jaguar? I mean, it's clean. It's clean. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of the best artworks of Mithra I've ever fucking seen, nigga. Fuck. Thanks for coming through, though. I appreciate it. It's a little... Maybe maybe it's like a different account or something. But yeah, if you, if you did make that, bro, then you have God's hands. That's God's plan right there. I'll tell you that much. Sakurai's gonna put her in for sure, by the way. You know, she, she has every single fucking tick necessary. Every single tick, nigga. It's just, I don't know. I hope you didn't steal that image, but no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, put you on blast like that. I mean, you told me you made it, you made it. It looks good, bro. It really does, man. I, I, I saved this image. I have this shit saved up on my computer. I didn't know it was you that made it. Fuck. Joy Con Boy drew that That's shit. That's a leap of logic, but I think a lot of mortals are like that. Do you remember talking to the Praetor? I said it felt like talking to Malos. Oh, yeah, because he's, I remember, like, he had yeah, the superimposed Malos on him. That. It's a funny thing. Malos and the Praetor, they want the same thing. Do they? Bro, hold on. Did this dude really donate $50 to... to did he really? Be, be real. Did you steal the image? Did you really donate $50 to say that you drew it and you didn't draw it? I'm not trying to be rude to you. I mean, you're showing support on the channel. And, you know, I'm grateful for the support. That I very much appreciate, bro. I'm not trying to, like, you know downgrade you for that or like talk shit about you but i mean you said you drew it and i don't think you, I, i'm 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 starting to did you draw it or not? I, you know it is kind of a weird position because like i don't want to antagonize the guy motherfucker donated like a hundred fucking dollars today to me to show support but at the same time that's fucking crazy <laughs> are you donating to, did he really donate to fucking say he drew this image <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Listen, man. I, I hope to God, cause I, no, no, no. I'm not even. I'm not even. This isn't even me being an asshole. It's just genuine curiosity. An image that I've seen before that I see a tag on that you know everyone else can see the tag on, and they're saying like, uh, dude, I don't think he drew it. It's like I'm just curious now. Did he really draw that or not? Damn. You ain't. You guys don't have to BS me. I mean, it, it's all good, baby. You, it's love no matter what, bro. But anyways, we have the game to play. We're not here to fucking focus on this, guys. If I if, if it was a chill stream or whatever, then what? Maybe. But I don't have the time to focus on this. We have to continue the gameplay, man. Oh, shit. I'm out this, nigga. So what's up, bro? We find out you're the big bad guy at the end. Why, why did you destroy Torna? Is that him? Whoa. This is the origin, my dude. Mother... The man who awoken both Aegises. Emmy? Or did he? Both? What is it? Well, Malos. Alone in the world like this. 
I failed you as a mother. Shit. What? Mr. Malthus's backstory. Mother. Forgive me. What? What? Oh, Wait, oh, oh. Stop! Stop! Here, she went this way. Whoa! Mother! Oh my God! Holy shit. That was raw. That was so raw. I thought she like tried to kill him or something. No, she protected him. Made sure the guards didn't spot his ass. So uh, Malthus was hunted down. Were they like hunting down people who were in the line or something? Is he about to pull some... Wow, that's his mom's? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! He's about to pull some Eren Yeager Attack on Titan Protecting Mikasa type shit out here. Damn, Amalthus. No wonder why he hates everything. He's basically Xenoblade's version of Killmonger. He doesn't give a fuck. Why would they keep the body, though? <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, he's on his Killmonger shit right now. This is for my father. That's right. You cave that nigga's skull in. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck, man. That's, that's eye for an eye, my nigga. Damn. That shit hits. That shit hit hard, bro. Wait a minute. He was talking about something with a ceremony. Is this what we're about to see right here? Your Whatever this ritual is? We'll be exiting the Cloud Sea shortly. Exiting the Cloud Sea? Down or up? Which way? Which way are we going, bro? What? Akos, you still have you still can't drive this fucking ship? A dark mass in the cloud sea. What's it's... that? Indo? What's this thing doing here? It's coming to the world tree, bro. This nigga's trying to take the architect out too. Don't tell me this is where Torna dies, bro. It's Again. Indo. What? Why are they here? Akos? Y'all still good, right? Why does Indol built with such fucking... Are those Talathia, my nigga? What is going on? Torn, alright, time to abandon ship, nigga. These niggas are trying to take y'all out, bro. Damn! You have one big ass titan and a bunch of little fucking flying. How the fuck are you gonna fight it? Yo, Patroka, don't tell me this is where you die. Where's Jin? Someone get fucking Jin and Malos. Damn, it really is the Praetor. That's the problem. Here we go, Mick. Ready? For what? Ready. What are these niggas about to do? Oh, the Ship artificial... As as the, boundary lays. the artificial blades that they've been... Off there. We'll have to. All rest ships can't make it past the boundary layer. 
Yeah, no sweat. Jin, you are okay with this, right? Mikhail, hmm? take care of Laura. This is it for Jin? For what reason? Does he really know that he's about to die? Jin? I forgot that these dudes have like a bunch of fucking artificial Back blades off. that were made by um Fire up the blade box. that nigga fucking Bana. Time to strike. Jin! Malos! What kind of Anything. Star Trek shit is this? They got here sooner than we thought. They gave up on the boy pretty quick. No surprise. But didn't Hatch open. Ready to launch. Doesn't Indol okay. have a bunch of refugees? Launch. People that are impoverished, that are that need their help, and they're engaging in a war with Torna? How is Indol even doing this? You have fucking people that are dying on your own soil. Indol is now a hostile power. You can no longer continue any quest that you accepted there. Oh, sh shit. Merc missions accepted, and dev points acquired in Indol will be transferred to the left area. Oh, sh shit. It makes sense, though. It always felt like Indol was kind of lacking in all those fields. I completed everything, by the way. I did all the quests there. I did all of the fucking um, Merc missions and development. I did all that shit. So, I mean, but because I did it all, it was like, why does this feel so bare bones? They engage in war later on, bro? Nigga, we can no longer go there? They really have become public enemy number one. Yeah, there's no more end all, nigga. Or is... Dude, the Praetorium. What did they do to the refugees? Did they kill them, bro? This shit is crazy. What is it? We didn't even get to see what it looks like before we got closed off. Wow, world has many amazing places in it. The Praetor just indicates we have not been here before. The Praetor just straight up fucking started beefing with Torna. Why is he here? Okay, shit's getting crazy. This shit is getting crazy. Does Rexenum even know that Indol is now shut down? I don't think they do. They didn't say anything. How would they know? They're inside of the tree right now. Let's see. What is Amalthus's plan, bro? It seems like whatever he tried to do, that Torna was a step ahead. Hence their, hence their like artificial blade production. These niggas have an army, and they were ready. They knew that Indol had an army too. What kind of fucking monsters were those? I mean, they look like Telethia. I mean, they're probably not, but. How the fuck do you just prepare an army? I thought those dudes were the peaceful ones. All that damn gospel singing and church going and all that. And it turns out that they were the most fucking prepared to beef out of any of the nations. Even more Ardain. What's here? Maybe agriculture is Poppy's specialist field. Wrong way? Oh, whoop, my bad. Even the darkest night is followed by a dawn. My bad. I endeavor to serve you, as always. I'm curious, where is this going to go? So now, the factors have been mixed up. We have the Praetorium, which has gone completely fucking berserk, starting to attack Torna and the World Tree. They seem like they're trying to come in heavy. They want to meet the Architect. Does the Architect know that niggas are coming? Most likely he does. I'm guessing that he has, like, vision to see everything and whatnot. Got a couple of monsters here. I'll just skip past these niggas. Oh. Oh, what the fuck is that? Well, it's a good thing we don't have to fight it, but nigga. What is it even called? The Garoth Sovereign. And it looks suspiciously like Rex's armor. Everything here kind of has a similar look. Very strange. What's all this? What's all this then? It looks like a scale. Yeah, you're right. It is like a scale.
What is this? Is this taking me somewhere? Wrong way? Oh, am I going the wrong way? I don't know. I'm just still looking around. This kind of looks important. I couldn't go through that door. I think I need like a key or some shit? I don't know. What the fuck? There's more bosses over there. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, is this like a boss version of the fucking little thing with the ass? Okay. Oof. I don't know. Etika, your flight? I know, I know, I know. The flight. I gotta... I need a key. I guess I need a key. I don't know where to get the key from, bro. The music is so good in here, though. What the fuck? Etika, you were there? Yeah, man, because the chat doesn't know. Some, some of y'all niggas tell me, oh, you're going the wrong way, bro. So I fell thinking, okay, well, I guess I gotta go back. Well, okay. I'm just gonna continue with my gut. Another disbenefit of having so many people in it. You don't know who the, fuck's, who the fuck knows what they're talking about, bro. Everybody's saying different shit. Will you upload this to YouTube? I mean, I, I, I might. I might. Because this is just straight up, like, gameplay and progression. Not as much, not as fast as I thought we'd be doing it, but you know, it's still his progression. Alright, so let me see. Maybe I gotta look for a key item or something here? What's here? Searching database. I never met a tree I didn't want to climb. Right, this is a boss right here. Do we have to kill this bitch to fucking get whatever key item we need? Because that door wasn't gonna open. Oh, what's this? What's here? Please enter password. Don't have a password. Gotta look for one, I guess. Maybe it's around here. I don't know. I should have known that we wouldn't be able to breeze through it. But I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I mean, the flight... Yeah, the flight is soon. I'm gonna probably just go for like an hour more, and then that's it. I gotta dip. An hour more. Let's see how much progress we can make in an hour. We're still in shot eight. All right. Can we do? Can we fuck this thing up real quick? Can we fuck this thing up real quick? Oh, okay. I can do it fast. I don't know if this is what we gotta do. Okay. Damn, where the fuck do we go? Okay. Let's go, Dagas. Get in there, nigga. Let's go, nigga. That's my nigga right there. Okay, we got the fire going on. Wait, what the fuck? What's going on with the... Was that something that the thing did? Where's that flying to? I'm going to PAX East for boss. I mean, I'm going to Boston for PAX East. <laughs> PAX East for Boston. <laughs> Look how the confused that shit is done. Launchy, launchy. Let's go. The squad, nigga. Let's go, Poppy. Let's go, Poppy. Oh shit, it's getting real already. Fuck this nigga. Ah, fuck. This nigga too wants it now. All right, fuck it. What the hell is going on in this battle, bro? This shit is fucking intense. Nigga, the fucking motorcycles want beef now. They're trying to run us over. They actually have niggas on them. Holy shit. Get him, Dagas. Jesus, what the fuck? Fuck it. Alright, that nigga's done. When they die, they fall on the side. They just fall on the side when they die. Typical motorcycle, dude. 
I don't even know if this is what we have to do right now. I'm just literally saying whatever. This is thing cool, man. All right, are we good? Nigga, they got shooters. I know. I know. All right, so we're good. I hear this slight beeping in my ear. I'm not sure if like Let's that's see. normal or not. Where's this key? A password or whatever? Where do we have to go? Is PAX East um, annual? Yeah, that's annual. There's a console you have to interact with somewhere. Okay, let me keep my eyes open. Here we go. Key code terminal. This might be it. Boom. Key code. Now, do we put that inside of the um, little computer that we saw over there? Really got to keep your eyes open on the details, man. I don't know how people are able to play the game with a zoomed-in camera like this. Although, I guess you'd be able to see stuff sticking out of the walls more like that, you know? Please enter the password. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be it. Do I have to go back now? It seems like there's something else. What the fuck? This is a straight up... How the fuck did you get your, your animal ass in here? You don't belong in this, bitch. It's a fucking fox. Where else? Is there anything else in here? We got to find the fucking computer room, nigga. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, is it? Ooh. Nope. Alright, I think we're good. Maybe I go back? Go to the door? Yeah, alright, I'm gonna go to the door. Just wanna make sure. Because now I know there's nothing else for a fact in this bitch. Alright, I can just fall. Fast travel? Yeah, yeah, let me do that. There's a hidden sword in the room. Damn. I don't think I'll be able to check that out right now. I think this is where we gotta go, though. The call button. Boom. This music, though, man. The ambience. I don't know. It doesn't sound like it's... It, it, okay, it sounds kind of like it's Endgame, but it's like... I hear tones of of pain in the music. It's like something horrible happened here. Way long ago, nigga. Think about the position that the architect would probably be in. If it's somebody who's still alive right now, where are their emotions at? They know that the world is suffering, that humans will soon be without a continent to live on. Does he have compassion for humans, or is he completely ice cold? He can't be ice cold, because isn't it the... Wait, where am I? Oh, is this where I got? Okay, this is where I gotta go. This is just another one of these fucking crazy looking... If I was not over-leveled, I don't know how long it would take to go through all these monsters, man. These niggas are fucking stacked up. This nigga looks like he's ready to fuck somebody up. Another donation came through, man. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very, very much. This is one from... Jabari! Yo, Jabari, what's going on, dogs? Ah, man, I wish your ass would have been in packs, man. You know I'm preparing to have a good time. I had to bring my Wii U there so niggas can play Smash Brothers and shit, dogs. Criteria. He says, bro, how are you even streaming? You better not miss that flight, my boy. Don't worry. It's I'm going to get an Uber. So, you know, that saves time. If I was doing public transportation, I'd have to leave, like, right now. But the Uber should get me to JFK in, like, 30 minutes from Brooklyn. So... Don't worry, um, even though I'm kind of cutting it a little bit close, it wasn't like early, early morning. It was this early morning that I had to get ready to start packing and whatnot, but I had to make sure I do some of this game right here. He says, I hope you and the rest of the crew have fun at PAX. I fly up to Chicago Thursday, so I'll take a couple of shots for you. Dude, I wish you were flying down to PAX Wednesday, nigga, but it's all good, man. Jabari, at some point or another, we're going to be able to throw it up once again. I'm not sure. Did you finish this game already, or are you doing like a longer run? Either way, man, I hope that you have a good time in Chicago. That's one of my favorite cities to be in. Bro, you know I'm going to throw a couple shots back for your ass too, nigga. No question there. Thanks again, Jabari. Always cool interacting with you in these streams, man. It's cool to have somebody else who's like a good friend of mine who's well, also playing this shit like no I am. No way I'd ever have guessed the world tree was like this on the inside. Without a doubt, Zeke, this is some fucking weird shit. It definitely shit. appears to be man-made. 
created by the same civilization as Moritha. The same civilization? of the architect. That's what Jin called it. Then maybe the architect built this thing. Do you really think we're going to find him at the top? And Elysium too? What guarantee is there that the architect is even alive? How do we truly From what know? we saw in Moritha, it seemed like all that stuff happened a gazillion years ago. Or maybe two gazillion. I don't know. Do you guys hear this buzzing that's going on? I don't know if there's something wrong with the audio of the game, but maybe that's just part Not of the background even noise. even Titans live that long. Even Pyra and Mithra have never actually met him. A gazillion but years ago. Towers right here. Millions of years ago. So, seeing is believing is the phrase. Hmm? Is this we'll really something? We'll just have somewhere? to find out for ourselves. There's no use speculating. Nia, what's wrong? His tummy started rumbling. Oh, father. Every time with you, it's, have you lost your wallet? Or are you hungry? It's because this dude is trying is to bum really food off of niggas. Of? He's trying to bum nah. food off of y'all. This nigga's worse than these kids in the fucking cafeteria in high school. Tora thought food is only thing that makes Nia all, um, growly, growly. Watch it, Furball. Oh, shit. What is Nia's problem? That's not a nice way to ask, Poppy. Poppy's so rude. But I let it slide. Poppy, for, for Poppy, she's good, but, but Tora. I want to ask you, Blades. Aren't you a Blade, Tell Nia? Tell the truth. Have you ever wanted to extend your life? Well... Wasn't Pyra and Mithra on a suicide returning mission? returning to our cores? Yeah. That's a tough question. I would like to keep learning about my former selves, but to keep living after Morag is dead... Oh, I'm sorry. Damn. No, I understand. Real shit, bro. <sighs> the idea of living on without her does not appeal to me. Yeah, same here. I want my memories of the prince to be just between us. You're going to make me blush, Aww. You know she's into this nigga. Jomak? As long as I'm by my lady's side till the end, then I'm satisfied. Aww, Jomak! Poppy is artificial blade, so it is very sad for me to think about. When Master Pawn is gone... Poppy's Poppy gonna be a be widow? Gone. Wow. That well, means that she's fucking you, nigga? What the fuck? Bet I get where you can <laughs> Tora's like, hold on. <laughs> Don't say that loud. Well, Damn, I... Pyro, can you see yourself without Rex? It's different for you, right? You've been alive for a few centuries. But not conscious for all those centuries, Rex. Did I ask you? Pyro, what do you Damn. think about it? Nia's pissed. <laughs> After Nia... <laughs> After Na after baby girl got friend zoned, she is done with Rex's bullshit. She said, "Nigga, stand down." Who who asked you, nigga? Pyra. Anyways, like <laughs> Nia don't give a fuck anymore. She's like, "Oh, you want friend zone me? Fuck you." Hey. <laughs> I wondered why I have to keep on living forever, just on and on, no end in sight. Well, who's you, who you? How are you alive for this long? It's different now. I mean, Malos has I'm a driver. I'm glad I've stayed alive all this time. Parting is always sad. But it's just part of the deal of being me. Though, Damn. Maybe. Maybe one day I'd be happy to close my eyes forever. With someone special. There. By my side. Pyra. Rex, Rex. You know who Rex that is, Rex? Pyra. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing with me. This is like... So, what made you ask? I'm a flesh eater. So, I don't know how long I'll live for. I mean, for all I know, I might just sniff it tomorrow. My lady. But I can say this much. My life and death isn't tied to any human hmm. and is that like a special Jin. thing i've been wondering Jin was collecting core crystals but why didn't he use them doesn't he hate humans he could use them to create blades then turn them into flesh eaters he could expand torna with no need for humans in the mix they do lack numbers is that all of them yeah. 
it's just the five of them. That's it. Yeah, that's a when good When Malos suggested yeah, getting Obrona and Akos to resonate, Jin was dead against it. Whoa. So I think maybe... Maybe Jin feels the same way as us. Mm. The same way as us? I think maybe that's why he won't resonate with anyone. Okay, yeah, the, the noise is in the game. That background noise is part of it. Whoa. Very interesting revelation. It's true. If it really was just renegating against all of humanity in the world, why not expand Torna and make a bunch of flesh eaters? Maybe that's a fate that he just doesn't want to put blades to. That's why he cares so much about blades. He doesn't want them to undergo that kind of... Maybe it's like a painful process or something. It's hard to understand. Even at this point, we're deep in the game. Chapter 8. And we still don't get the motivations behind people's actions in this game still. The only people that we really fully understand is Rex and his crew. They seem like they're the most basic bitches out of everybody with the least fucking complex reasons as to why they're here. Everyone else seems to have beef which extends for centuries, millennia, millions of years prior. What's here? And it's like all culminating into this one concentrated point in the middle of the world. And we're just sitting here like some fucking dunces, not understanding anything around us, but just moving forward because we want to help some cute chick get to the top of a fucking tree. I have a feeling that pretty soon, that... that aloofness is going to get smacked in the face. This is the calm before the storm. Similar to when we were in Spirit Crucible Elvis or whatever. This is all build up for when the boom comes crashing down I feel let's see what happens man <laughs> I didn't mean it in the literal sense oh oh it's all, oh indol 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 nigga bro look at this shit so this is what the world trees really like these they aren't leaves they glyphs what? Hey, look! An old Tornan warship. Didn't think there'd be any of them. Yo, Indol is getting fucked Never up. Mind that. The it's refugees, this. where I are no they? No idea Indol could make it up this high. That bitch flew. Cloud sea, long way down. Bro, really? How it high are these niggas? Indol has modified their Titan as old Temperantia did with theirs. But that much firepower. What kind of shit are they trying to do out here? Indol possessed so much force. A holy I titan. To ask what they plan to do with it. Destroy they the world tree. Anticipated it. That Jin and Malos would try to ascend. Whoa. So Jin is inside that thing. Yes, no doubt. Whoa. Let's hurry. We can't let them make it to Elysium. So you, there's. Everybody's aggressive. We don't. We're not on good terms with Indol. We're not on good terms with motherfucking with with motherfucking um Torna. This is legit a battlefield. Look at this crazy shit. And we can't skip travel there either, nigga. This is just a bunch of fucking dude. And those aren't leaves. Those are glyphs. So the world tree has like a seal on it or something. All right, that's the cloud seal all the way down there. And we're kind of high up on the tree right now, right? Obtain a shining still out. No, no, that's not the mission right now. Well, let me get rid of this. All right, yeah, we're good. We still have all the quests that we had there. So, you know, we did not miss out on anything. We did complete end all. So, it's a good thing I was going for 100%. Let me deactivate this mission. Bro, okay, we got, like, roughly 30 minutes left until we have to, like, end and me catch my flight. So, I'm going to save the game again. Dude, this scene looks so crazy. The once holy titan of Indol is now in a fucking heated battle with Torna. Aren't there people on there, man? Fuck. Alright, let's go back. That bird is getting fucked up, nigga. 
you know the people on there are getting fucked up too. It's like a flying continent. What about the buildings? How's the Praetorium looking? The refugees are honestly a big fucking concern. Am I the right way? Am I going the right way? Or am I fucking up? Okay, here we go. I gotta go up here. Bro, look at this shit. I can't do these points right now. You know, a little few seconds here and there. Next thing you know, it's gonna wind up taking like 10 minutes. I gotta just keep moving. What's that weird fucking light coming out of the top of... Is that where the Praetorium is? Bro, what is happening here? Bro. Yo. I can't believe the Torna ship is actually this diesel. They're fighting hand-to-hand -hand with fucking Praetor Amalthus. And he's getting... It. The people! The people! Excuse me? Is that Amalthus and, and Malos together? And Torna? That's Torna! And the fucking Monado! Well, a Monado. Whoa. Whoa. So the destruction that Malos was dishing out was at the will of this nigga Amalthus. He wanted that to happen. Whoa. And now you the know, other you can't ages. control it. I hear you've been promoted by the Praetor. You? Why? Just thought I'd come and say goodbye. But aren't y'all blade and driver? Would you rather I leave without saying anything? What are you gonna goodbye? do? Why? What would compel you to leave me? You are my. I've got full control of all my powers now. It doesn't matter if you die. I can keep on going. Really? What are you saying, Malos? The Praetorium, the Believers, I despise them all. Humans aren't fit to breathe our air. So, I'm going to give you what you always wanted. The end but of humans. I never... I'm clearing out the worthless. Isn't that why you sought the Architect? Why? Oh, because he had beef against people. Tree? He was pissed that his moms yes, got look murdered. At you now. No bitch niggas. Amalthus, you wanted this, right? Y'all destroying shit left, right, and center. And damn, Jin pulled a fucking... Excuse me, Malos pulled a fucking Batman. Just vanished on a nigga. There must be someone out there who can use this core. I'll send them after Malos. Adam! Oh. Damn, nigga. This nigga, Malthus, is on some shit. He, he's the bad guy. He's the final bad guy of everything. Look at that. I mean, then again, when we first saw him, we saw Malos in him, so that kind of gives us... But then why would... Maybe this is explained, but why... So this is technically a battle between Driver and Blade. Uh, Malthus is Malos' driver, even though he doesn't need him anymore. They want the same goal. They want humans destroyed. And arrived. So why fight here? Let's see. Their Please desires align. To me. I didn't think it would be him fighting Torna. It would be like him trying to get at maybe the architect. I don't. This is weird, man. This is fucking weird. Your flight. Yeah, the flight's at eleven. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna stop the stream at eleven a.m. So we're good. Indeline warrior monks. Oh shit. To the Aegis and her driver, we're here to pass on an order from his eminence. Oh shit. You are to use the Aegis's power to bring down that ship. Huh? What's Isn't wrong? that what you want? 
This is your duty, Pilgrim. Rex, technically you could do it, My but he doesn't want to kill them. Is to open the way to the world tree. He doesn't want to kill them. You cannot do it? If so, then we must take the Aegis into custody. I get it now. They just wanted to use Mithra's power to burn up their little problem. Oh. Nothing new under the sun. Same old, same old. I didn't old. say we couldn't do it, but we have to stop Jin. Tell your boss that's what we're doing, okay? He just wants them to kill we them don't right negotiate there. Holy decrees. If you don't comply, then prepare for righteous chastisement. Right, righteous chastisement. He's talking to them like a fucking, like a, like a Christian father. Well, all right, these niggas gotta go down then. Fuck it. I'll kill me some holy soldiers. I'll kill me some holy soldiers, nigga. Let's fucking go. Somebody get the aggro. Is that are we fighting this big nigga? In the line of loyalists. Okay, well, damn, the volume's loud as fuck. Alright, let's see. Oh, these niggas are dying fast, never mind. Okay. God damn. Already we're running through him? Good. We gotta do this shit fast, nigga. We do not have the time to play games with these niggas. I got a flight in 30 minutes. Well, it's not in 30 minutes, but I gotta get ready for the flight in 30 minutes. Thankfully, this is not taking that long. Let's go. Let's go. This nigga's done. Well, that shit was fast. <laughs> I don't care if you came from the Pope, nigga. Fuck you and the Pope. <laughs> I don't mean that in real life, by the way. Damn, they threw them off the side of the fucking... We're not gonna kill gonna Jin and them, the but fuck these soldiers. Throw them off the, the side. Excuse me? What is this? What is this? Huh? Bridget. Uh, oh, they got some shit affecting blades now, and Nia's what affected too. Something, someone. Their core crystals. Oh <laughs> shit! Can it be? He's doing something to their core Please crystals, bro. Time runs short. Uh. A Malthus. What are you doing, bro? What? That's the one on Fan, Fan's core crystal. That's it, all right. The other half? Why does he have it on his head? A Malthus. He took Fan Lenore's core crystal. He's using her power. Oh. In fact, my original primal power. Mitra. Primal? He's forcing. He's forcing them to use their fucking powers. Holy shit! Mitra, Mitra. So Siren's about to come through. He said, "This is his original power." Siren! He's trying to take Torna out! Is that the artifice? Is it the Aegis? Holy shit. <laughs> no. But who? Amalthus. That's Daddy Amalthus, Amalthus right there. This nigga's going He's for blood. Driver, and I'm an Aegis. Yeah, we all know that. that energy gets any stronger. You won't just control the blades, but Mithra too. <sighs> Amalthus, you never disappoint. Now's not the time to be getting a stiffy, Malos. The driver of the Master Blade. Shit. I the power to command all blades. Every blade of mine. Even the very titans are under my control. Wow. That must be how he repelled the attack. Sooner or later, he'll control us too. 
Don't worry. Even if they're fucking Capri's flesh like eaters? You won't come under his control. Oh, oh, okay. Sure, he can dampen your power. But that's why we built those things. Oh, shit! They were preparing for this from the very beginning! These dudes were ready! They knew he had that power! That's why they only had motherfucking flesh eaters on their team! That's why they had artificial blades! They don't need to be under ether control- they, they, they function on their own! Oh, Torna thought ahead! They were rolling safe! This is some, this is some egg eel put motherfucking homes inside of the fucking Mekonis so that way the fucking Monado can't cut them type shit. This is some mum car metal face shit right here. Niggas are using foresight. Bing! They see the options ahead of time. They're playing on some Smash Brothers neutral game right now. Damn. This is some straight up egg eel shit. Dude's got Monados. Dude's got Tilathia. Yeah, so they're still fighting. That's why they want them to just take down the ship. Because Amalthus knows he cannot control Torna. Thanks to their deviations. And if he can't control them, he wants to destroy them. These artificial blades are fucking shit up. They got soldiers fucked up. They blew that nigga to pieces. Mikhail's wow. creations will not submit to Amalthus's control. And neither will this bucket of bolts. We're nearly at the boundary layer. Jim, Let's fucking go. Get ready. These niggas were ready Malos. from Jump Street. Let's move. Yeah. They knew they needed an Mikhail, army. Akos, Petroka. It's up to you now. Sure. Damn. Yeah, we get it. Hey, when you see our daddy, dear, tell him thanks for everything from me. This is the end of the mission. Torna's coming to a close, bro. Niggas are getting ready to make the moves. This is it right here, guys. Whoa. Rex, Rex, the Torna ship stopped moving. Looks to me like they're gonna try and get inside. They just crashed right into the side of that bitch. We're gonna stop Jin, but you've gotta stop this. You're speaking nonsense, boy. Now is the hour of their doom. You leave me no choice but to perform your duty for you. Amalthus, we're gonna destroying Jin and Torna. We're only trying to stop them. We don't want to kill them, nigga. Amalthus, chill. Sway them with words of reason. Yes. Well, yes. Yes, Jin nigga. You told me what happened. What happened 500 years ago. And you were the cause of it, weren't you, Praetor? Ooh. I was nothing but the mouthpiece of the architect. What? Him, I'll ask him myself. So the architect wanted Torna to be taken down? About Pyra and Mitra. That is not your right. It is mine. Oh shit. The siren's about to shoot them. Uh, wow. You again? You defy me again? Amalthus needs to fucking come down from this shit. That's right. Rex, you're the Aegis's driver. That's right. You make sure that, that ba baby girl listens to you. Do that you can't. She listens to you in bed, not him. I mean, Rex, <laughs> it's true. Power depends on the heart of its wielder. Right? What kind of Yu-Gi-Oh heart of the card shit is this? Hey! This is... Okay, that was actually a better scream than Earl. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that the Zohar? What was that? Damn, he hit that nigga directly. I can move. Okay. Okay, man, you know, I'm jumping Rex. to conclusions and shit. I'm jumping I'm to okay. conclusions and shit. I, I won't let him get away with this anymore. 
He's just mm -hmm. manipulating humans and blades alike. Exactly. That's not the architect's will at all. How do you know though, you Rex? Malthus. You can leave Jin and the rest to us. So Amalthus doesn't want Jin to destroy like humans and shit. Amalthus doesn't want that. That's why he went on the offensive saying, fuck it, Rex is not gonna stop him. I'll do it instead. The So maybe Amalthus, he's the bad guy, but Where are Torna. You? Who's the, the bad guy? I'm so confused. Soon Malos will activate Ion. If we can hold this position and prevent the scum from ascending, then victory is ours. Jesus. Okay then. We've got to go all out. You know, I realize that um, Torna, they're all like Japanese. Like, kind of, they have like Japanese traditional clothing in a way, but it's like got a modern spin on it. It's kind of cool. Damn, man. It seems like the Predator is getting fucked up out here. These artificial blades are doing business on this nigga. The whole shit with Bana, all of that was building up for this moment. Where are the refugees, bro? Dude, they're going for blood. This is it, man. She looks like Hanada. She does, right? Um, You mean Petroka. She kind of does look like Hanada when she's growing up. With the long hair and all that. The Vortex. Is that like a defense You're system right that Amalth has had? The tower. At peace, brother. The field of effect is only a little reduced. He's not even worried, bro. It is drawing near. What is? Gather the brothers together. We must exterminate the vermin. Which vermin? Oh, oh, oh. Them? No, no. No soul alive. They sully. The architect's presence. Oh, he said that's a right for me alone. He doesn't want us to even see the architect. He's like, fuck you. Excuse me? More Ardain? Hey, why is he here? The nigga was walking to the tree the whole time? Oh, because Amalthus controls all titans. Even the big ones. Nigga, holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Now the goddamn... Now, now you got Ardain coming in here. Where is this even gonna go? Everyone's coming to the world tree. It's a fucking party. The whole world's invited. What's going to happen? What the fuck is going to happen? Where is this going? I gotta leave in 15 minutes. I gotta get ready to leave in 15 minutes. Bro! Chapter 9. Rain. It's fine, guys. Don't worry. I, 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 I'll, I can leave in 15 minutes and I'll be fine. Because, you know, Uber. Thank God. But I need to see what happens here. Right? Like, isn't Moradain about to die, nigga? And you have this nigga shooting the fucking tree with an energy beam? Isn't that going to accelerate the rate that that bitch goes down? Oh, I'm out. This is... He's playing with the kids. He's, he's a good guy. So he doesn't like people. Or does he? He grew up fucked up, and with him and Miles, they were fucking shit up at one point, but... What the fuck, man? This is some late game. This really is some late game shit. He's like a healer, bro. He's on his Jesus and the Twelve Disciples shit right now. Living a life devoted to the poor, or the, the, or the, or the lame, my nigga. Staring at the tree. He said, I'm only a mouthpiece for the architect it's like he's thinking of himself as like a prophet a baby is this like where he finds adam or some shit damn some dude came in and killed the fucking the parents or something? That's what it looks like. Wow. Wow. That's the dude he healed. Wow. What the fuck? The same dude he just helped out 
trying to fucking kill a baby. That's raw. That. Just be quiet. Oh, architect. Is this the world that you intended? Who's the architect? What's his inspiration? Amalthus said this, that the architect wanted him to take down Torna from old, old Torna. And it's like, why would he want that? Is he for people or against him? That too close! Meh! If we just a bit higher, it would have hit us! Dogs. Oh, Moradane's blast? This titan is about to fucking die. That's literally the town Mother right there, bro. Impossible. That's Alba Kavanich right there. There's people there. Literal fucking civilization is existing on that bitch. And it's walking around in a war. This is bad, nigga. Everyone's dying, bro. I don't even want to know what the people of Indal are thinking right now. They were the ones that didn't want there to be a war. They're like, oh man, blades and drivers, we hate them all. Wow. Your Majesty, are you hurt? Holy what shit. Happened? The Titan just released a vast amount of energy from its chest. We think the brownout may be linked to that. Wow. This isn't gonna last too much longer, nigga. Majesty, we strayed off course, but we managed to confirm our current position. Where are we? Look! The world tree right there, nigga. Right outside your front door. That's... And there's no void now. Is he about to shoot another okay. blast? Yo, Amalthus doesn't care! Curses. Dude, there's people! Mordain can't afford to lose any more energy. Is there something that niggas can do to stop this bitch? Oh, I gotta check my audio. Where are we? Look! The world tree right there, nigga. Right outside your front door. Nuts. Dude, this is fucking crazy. I mean, it's true. I saw a comment that said, how did nobody notice that? It's how did nobody me. not notice that? There's a giant fucking tree outside. going to it's... shoot again. That is not good. Not at all. The Ardenian Titan is said to be at the end of its lifespan. And it looks if it like were it to is. release any more of the ether energy stored within its body, what would happen? It would collapse, its joints giving way under its own weight. Wow. That's about to happen to it? Bro, are you kidding me? Another blast, and you could see that one was visibly weaker, but it still had enough force to fucking hit the Torna ship. That ship is made out of fucking a vibranium or something. That shit is he summons titans, dogs. Why do you have to summon more Ardane? Couldn't you have at least bought some titan that's healthy? Like Gormot? Never mind! Don't bring Gormot! Jesus! I was joking! I was he didn't have to actually bring the other titans! He's got Uriah! What? Uriah? Curse that amount! This is every Titan under his control? What the fuck? What the fuck? Everyone's what fucked! Is that the world tree? Moradain, Indo. What the blazes is going on out there? Because they're inside, they can't see what's going on. Nigga! This is madness! Does he mean to gather all the titans in one place? Akos! Petroka! Just to take you Go. out! Go keep Jin and Malo safe! What is this all of a sudden? We must be ready for the worst! Yo, we got another donation coming in here, man. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you very, very much. This is coming from KYH9. I think he's going to give us some backstory here. He says, so Amalthus basically has only ever seen the worst parts of people, human civilization and whatnot. He only ever seen the worst in them, 
Even people you help can be murderers and thieves. Also, do not progress chapter 9 off camera at all. This chapter is fucking dense. Don't- I- 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 I-
these loading screens are taking far too long. Your Majesty, I'm okay. Issued the evacuation. It's order time to leave. To Everyone, get the All fuck out of here. Vessels can be used, including my private ones. Damn. Save as many as possible. Yeah, they know this nigga's going down. Don't they know the Titan's going down. Hurry now. Mulardine cannot hold. Unfortunate though it may be. Majesty. Go. Fuck. This chapter, dude, the world has turned into a fucking war zone. Is it over for this nigga? Dear sister. If you are there, please. Please. Save Mulardine and the world. This shit is getting crazy. They are taking way too long, given that Doomsday is around the corner. Eminence, the foes have been sighted. The lost technology of old twin. How astounding it is that it still works. Is that why Surprise, he destroyed it? Jay. There are still a few of us hanging on. A survivor. Of when Torna was taken Flesh down. Eater. You followed him down that dark path. Huh. In Mick! Case. My nigga Mick. What you gonna do? Huh? Oh, nice try. But that's not gonna work on me. And that's because... You and I are the same. What? What do you mean by that? I am... A Blade Eater. Oh, he's Impossible. a human that... The Blade Eater technology is not known outside the Praetorium. What? You're right. But that doesn't mean you're the only one. A Blade Eater. Or have you forgotten what you did before in planting your core crystal? <sighs> Flesh Eaters and Blade Eaters. So this is now a person that can take in a blade and become an enhanced human? Living with the powers and the abilities of a fucking blade? What the hell? What the hell is he doing? What did he do? Oh, that's Mick! That's little Mick! He said, Petroka, I love you. And she said, yo, make sure you come back alive you so I can beat the shit out of you for saying you that. You are one of the refugees from back then. But... All of them were murdered of, right? Sure, you tried. But some of us weren't about to die that easily. I lived on. Wow! Mick is an MVP right now! This is a revenge story, bro. The people! Look, okay, now we're seeing the Praetorium's people get fucked up. This is so wrong. Who do I cheer for? You didn't even evacuate them. Wow. The same as ever, Amalthus. He's a monster, bro. Didn't even evacuate the damn people. Oh my god. I'm sorry. But this is a fight I can't back down from. Did he not evacuate them trying to use them as hostage leverage? Mick doesn't even care. He's about to kill so many people. Tantal now? Oh, come on. He's bringing the whole world to the fight. Amalthus doesn't care. He's bringing every single Titan that's available. He's bringing Genbu! He's bringing Can't fucking Genbu! Why? Panic! She probably can't do shit. It's no use. My words can't reach him anymore. Damn it all! What the hell is the Praetor thinking? Nigga, this is like a house this party! He'll destroy all rest before Malos does. Desperation. What do you mean? Oh yeah, desperation indeed. Desperation at not getting the Aegis. Dude. What's his plan? Why would he be so intent on obtaining the Aegis? We've... we've got to do something to stop the Titans fighting. That's easy to say. Is the Architect just watching this right now? Way out there. 
Look at this fucking battlefield! Got it! The glowing pillars! Just then, when one of the pillars got wrecked, Amalthus' power got weaker for a moment. So if we smash the pillars, he'll lose control of the Titans. It's worth a shot. Okay, Mithra? Wait a minute, why is Pyra looking all golden? And we only want to hit the pillars? Yeah. It's moving far too much. I can't get a clear shot. This isn't going to work. Oh, man. I know. Mithra. What? If we can get a little closer, we might be able to do something. Is that true, Pyra? Pyra's got like more gold on her or something? I don't know. I can't tell. Do you yes, it's always been there. Against Jin. By rewriting the physical laws of the surroundings, we were able to match Jin's speed. If we rewrote them in the same way, in the midst of battle between those two? From our point of view, it'll be like they've frozen in place, huh? What? Okay. But how do we get there? Uh, Tora, I have a good suggestion! Fly on Poppy's back? Poppy! Think you could I didn't think it was gonna be that basic! Carry up there? Oh my yeah. god! I didn't think that would be how raw the plan was, Tora. Okay, let's do it. Everyone else after Jin. Hang on. We don't have time to argue here. Don't worry. We're gonna make this work, right? Right. Rex Rex, please remember, Hoppy Booster Time Limited. Understood. We'll get as close as we can. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. That's the plan, nigger? Approach Indo Titan via the World Tree 7 perimeter sky port edge. Oh man, well, I think this is it, guys. Unfortunately, I have to end the stream now. I just do not have the time to continue as much as I would like to. And plus, there seems like there's just a lot of stuff to do at this point. I don't know. I mean, it seems like we can still fast travel to all these fucking Titans. If we fast travel to, say, more Ardain, are we going to be able to see the actual battle happening from here that would be fucking nuts if we were able to see it Whew. let's rest the spell nope everything's cool let's press on. never mind we're right there oh shit never mind ain't shit cool ain't nothing sweet nigga this shit's about to go down we're right in front of the fucking tree whoa everybody's still living everything's normal it's like hey you know Hi there! <laughs> hey, what's up? Just chilling. Hey, man. Don't you notice there's a fucking Armageddon going on outside? Yeah, but you know what? Hey, man, you can't worry about the stressful things in life. You just gotta play it cool sometimes, you know? Let's see what happens at night. Oh, yeah! You know, you, there goes Indol in a fucking war with the fucking... <laughs> with this big-ass robot nigga. But, you know, everybody's chilling right now, so that's cool. It's nice to see everybody's taking it easy. Even in natural disasters, you got to be able to keep your cool, right, dudes? All right, man. I'm about to dip out of here. Dudes, it was cool. Yeah, there's a lot of shit for me to do now. At least my bags are packed. Fun stream. I don't know when I'm going to play this next story, but it, it already seems like shit's getting crazy. And we still don't have any kind of encounter with the fucking architect or whatever. I really would love to have some words with that nigga to see what the hell the deal is, bro. But for now... I'm about to dip out. We have another donation coming in. D donation. Donation coming through from Mike Hawk. Very nice name. He says, nigga, we are about to be the no-flight boys. Man, I kept telling you guys the flight is at 2 p.m. I don't have anything to worry about, man. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers, of course, as usual, always being paranoid. I'm glad you're all worried about me, you know? It's nice to know that you dudes are all concerned. You want to act like all trolly and shit. But in reality, you dudes are like, wait a minute, no, don't miss your flight, man. We're scared. Don't worry, guys. Thank you for your concern. It's greatly appreciated. But trust me, your boy is definitely going to be on his way to Boston. I wouldn't play around with something like that. Now, if the flight was in like an hour, then I would be bad news. But you know, I gave myself a little bit of like leeway, a little bit of wiggle room to work with it, but I should be good. Um, if I don't make the flight and I wind up missing this shit somehow, then I'll post on Twitter and it'll be like, well, I'm a dumb fuck, but I think I'm good. Mike, thank you very much for the concern, um, the meme and the contribution to the um, Etical World Network Bank. That bank, my friend, 
is going to be what rockets this YouTube channel to the next level, man. And you guys are all contributors in some form or fashion. Feel proud. The Joy-Con boys will live another day. We'll go on to troll another day thanks to the likes of viewers like you. I love saying that, man. Um, I'm out, guys. Wish me luck with this flight, with this trip. I'll be posting updates on Twitter, pictures and videos and stuff. So if you're curious about the debauchery that I'm about to put myself through and a bunch of other streamers and content creators through, then uh, definitely tune in to that shit. It'll be fun. But for now, I'm out. I'm glad I was able to get some progress in on this game. Shit's crazy. World Tree music is fire as fuck. And we still don't know what the fuck is going on. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And once again, thank you to all the contributors. Jabari, Bitterfuck, um, KYH9, once again. Always appreciate the support and the tips that's coming through, bro. Thank you for the breakdown and the explanation. BB115, Mr. Bombastic, Andrew Skull, um, Bluns, Gotter Green, uh, and Sir Wee Scrub. Thanks from the heart, guys. Take care.